And welcome back. Well, it's something nobody wants to think about. It's the loss of a parent. But would your children be okay if your spouse died? Right now, our focus is not on the emotional aspects of that loss. Today, we're going to talk about the financial crisis that death could cause. This is Life Insurance Awareness Month, which I'd never heard of before. Matthew Holbrook is here from Country Financial to put this in perspective. Great yeah. to see you. Good to see you guys. I think it is a good awareness month designation mm -hmm. because it is so important because the reality is if you or your spouse die and you have children they're left without potentially yep. a substantial income yep and a lot of people don't like to think about that nobody wants to talk about death nobody wants to talk about something so devastating to a family happening but mm -hmm. sad thing is it does happen um, I've known people it's happened to and it's just it's a horrible thing to talk about, but I'd rather we talk about it here before something happens mm -hmm. as opposed to after. Yeah. yeah, maybe it'll motivate someone too. Yep. But a lot of people probably feel like they should get mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. They just don't do it. What do you think that reason is? Is it just that we don't want to think that that's going to happen to us? Yeah, and it's, I mean, uh, looking at a lot of people, it's uh, we're invincible. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen to us. The stories that we hear are other people. Um, if you go on the, the website, lifehappens.org, for, for example, that website has a lot of those stories where you can watch that. I mean, you, you probably don't want to watch it too long, bring tissues, yeah. it's not good. <laughs> um, but you need to get something in place, especially if you have kids. I tell people, if you do have kids and you haven't addressed this, well, it's September, it's Life Insurance Awareness Month, do it this month. Do yeah, it now. Get it done, that's your deadline. Now, if people get in touch with you, is that part of what you do is berate them for not already having it? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you thinking? What is the matter yes, with you? Yes, yes, step one, berate them, yell at them, and make them feel horrible. No, but uh, that's the thing, I think. I bet yep. if people call you and they say, hey, I have a five, seven, and ten-year-old, mm -hmm. you're like, hey, thanks for calling me. Yeah, it's, you it's, need this. It's more of thank you for calling, thanks for taking that first step, thank you for being a good parent. Um, because a lot of parents, they do not make that phone call or they don't send that email. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, I want them to do it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've talked about your ATM example before. Yep. Give that again. Okay. So the ATM example, and I love this one. I think a lot of people can connect with it. So imagine you are, or you have an ATM sitting there in the living room and twice a week that thing pops out 3000 bucks or uh, every two weeks, exactly at eight o'clock in the morning. Now, if you have that at your house, you're probably going to want to insure that, protect that, or probably be afraid to leave the house if that thing's in there and it's just kicking out money, right? Yeah. Right. Well, a lot of people don't realize that you are that ATM every few weeks. You get that money given to you, and a lot of people don't insure that. Instead, they're insuring what's sitting over in the garage, which may be worth 20000 bucks. Yeah. Not a lot compared to that money that's coming out of that ATM. So mm -hmm. I always like to tell people, you are that ATM, and think of it that way. Mm -hmm. So all that income is coming in, and that gets them kind of thinking, okay, if something did happen to me and my family and that money wasn't coming in, if the ATM was gone, well, my family's probably not well off. Well, and I think about it more because my kids are one college age and yep. two, you know, getting closer to it is the, the whole concept that, you know, it's not unusual for someone to have, say, a half a million dollar life mm -hmm, insurance mm -hmm, policy or mm -hmm. a million dollar life insurance policy. That could pay for a lot of college. Yeah. That, a whole lot of college and a whole lot of other yep. important things that if I'm not around, and all it is is a life insurance policy. Do you ever have a ballpark figure that you give people what it costs in a year? Because I want to say mm -hmm. mine is under $500 a year. Yeah, it's, it's dollars, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, and I, I looked at, uh, even for myself, I am, what am I, 32? I think I'm 32, yep. So I okay. thought I was 33 the first time. No, 32. <laughs> um, so for me, I looked that up. So for, uh, say, a million-dollar policy on myself, just using like a term policy, it's about 40 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. uh, so not a lot. Even if you break that down to, what, half a million, that's 20 bucks a month. When you look at how much things cost these days, the, what, the iPhone X is $1,000 a mm -hmm. year, and people are just going out and running and get that, it's, let, let's refocus those priorities yeah. here and kind of focus on what is important. So it's, it's not expensive at all. It's just about taking the time, get that set up, pay the few dollars a month that it costs and you're good. Well, and let's talk about what happens and how life changes, I think, when someone in your family passes. I remember when my father passed, and mm -hmm. he did not have a life insurance policy. Mm -hmm. It was really difficult to just even pay for the funeral, yeah. pay for a headstone, pay for all those types of things, as well as his house. Mm -hmm. Those are, because my parents were divorced, those were things that were put on us as kids that we couldn't afford mm -hmm. at the time. I was in college. Those are things that change for the family. Yeah, they do, and it's, if, if they were paying dollars a month just to have that in place. Mm -hmm. 
you would have gotten a checkbook given to you and every expense you could just write out of that thing. Mm -hmm. Because the last thing you want to think about when you're having a funeral are those things of, okay, money and the, the, the like, problems Like, oh, we can't happen. put the flowers mom wants because exactly. we can't that afford just, that those. That just plain sucks yeah, is what yeah, it is. It does. And it's if somebody can just get that in place and cover that, um, uh, the, that protection there, you're a lot better off and you don't have to worry about those issues. Mm -hmm. Two things I want to leave people with is we uh, share your information. One is that if the breadwinner, especially in a family, passes away, it could mm -hmm. force you to sell the family home, which is horrible. The other thing is that if you think you're covered because you have a policy through your employer, it very likely is not enough. So the next time Matthew's here, I want him to tell me a whole bunch of stories about people who called him yes. and said, I need life insurance. Let's get this done. All you have to do is email him. It can be confidential. It's Matthew.Holbrook at countryfinancial.com or give him a call. The phone number at his office, which is located in Shorewood, is 414 414- 332-2137. You're going to tell us some positive stories about that. I next, hope so. Right? Make the okay. deadline, end of the month. Call right. me, call somebody. Yep. I like it. Thanks, Great Matthew. to see you.